So hello, welcome back to the Axon Files. So this is the first video in a series of videos on how to program your calculator to ace the SAT. In this video, we'll be covering the step-by-step -step process of the quadratic formula and how many, if you plug in an equation, it'll, the program will also tell you how many solutions your equation has. So always feel free to pause the video and look down below at the key press history whenever you feel that you are behind. In any program, it all, it all essentially comes down to four basic steps. First, you want to ask the user to input a value. Then, you want to take that value inputted and store it as a variable. Then, step three, you plug those variables into a formula. And then step four, the result. Okay, so let's get to programming the quadratic formula. So now, first things first, you click on program, then you scroll right until you get new, you click one. And so let's name this program, let's say quad. So you go to Q, U, A, D. Okay, so then click enter. So now what you have to do is you go to program, then you go to I, O, then you go to, you press eight. Okay, to get clear home. Then you can go to program again, then IO three to get display, and then do second alpha plus then what is so W H A T space I S end quote then you click enter then go to program you go to io and you put one as for input then input in quotes so first you do second alpha in quote a so then you do quotes again comma then you click alpha again and you click comma and then you go alpha math so now what you do is you do this two more times except you do this with the variable b and c okay so after you've repeated those steps the next thing you'd want to do is do alpha then go to B, then squared minus four alpha A C is st and stored as like at the bottom left corner of your calculator. It should be STO arrow store as D. Okay, so then then now now basically we just plug in d to the quadratic formula and we set those as variables so now we do minus b plus second square root of d make sure you close the parentheses twice and then you divide by Two a close parentheses and then you store that as the j. So now you do the same step except you know so the quadratic equation is negative b plus or minus. So right now we did the plus square root. Now let's do the minus square root. So now let's open parentheses negative b minus the square root of d of d then close parentheses twice then divided by in parentheses 2 a close parentheses store that let's just store that as k okay So now that we've gotten a quadratic formula stored as two different variables, 
We can start by proceeding to the second part of our program, which is checking how many solutions your equation has. So first, we'll start off with an if statement in program, then one. So if d, so d is equal to, equal to is under second math. If d is equal to zero, zero, then, so you have to go to program two, which is then, then, then you go to display, which is under program, scroll right once, and then click three, display, so second, alpha, then you do in quotes, there is one, is one one then you close the quotes and enter then you put display again then you go to i slash o display which is three display second alpha open quotes same quotes solution Solution. Then you do a uh, period solution and the quotes. And then since there is only one solution, J and K will have the exact same value, so we only have to display one of them. So let's do comma. My bad. So alpha. So then comma. Then alpha J. So now what we want to do is we want to end this if statement. So we go to program, then we go to seven, which is end. We end it. Then we do another case, which is when D is greater than zero. So like again, let's go to program one for if, if D is greater than zero, greater than is also under second math, it's three. D is greater than zero. Then in program two, then you have to display program IO, then three display basically the same thing except it has two solutions. So you do second alpha plus there, there are. Two T W O two then let's end quotes then go down again and go to program I O I O then go to display display there are two open quotes again there are two solutions second alpha yes oh so lu Solutions. Solutions. Then you go to, you do the colon again, and end quotes. Then click alpha, comma, j, comma, k. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we just need to end this if statement. Let's click enter. Then we go to program. Then, uh. Uh, seven which is end and we are done with this program so now let's actually test it out do second mode to quit out and go back to program let's go to execute qad okay so execute this so let's do the equation x squared plus 4x plus 3 which has two solutions one being negative 1 and the other being negative 3 let's see if this works so 1 what is b Four with C three. Yes. Okay. So now let's try one more equation to see if the one solution works. So let's try the equation x squared plus six x plus nine. So let's go to program again. Execute quad. Quad. So what is a? A is one. Then b is six. C is nine. And 
we get our answer. Thank you for watching our video and now hopefully you have a quadratic formula programmed into your calculator. If you want more content similar to this, subscribe and like. And if you have any suggestions that could make our videos better, please place them in the comment section below. Thank you and we'll see you next time on the Axon Files.